Um, so we'll, you know, shift. We got a we got a great question that came in that kind of focused on a little bit of Manning, uh, particular to the reserve community. Came in from uh, STSCS uh, Emery Rusty Bryant. Appreciate you sending it over to us, and it uh, says, uh, can you speak to where your mind is with respect to reserve support and how we can help directly or indirectly during this time of need? And uh, you know, I'll tell you. We think about our Navy as one team, one total yeah, force. Absolutely. And the reserve community is embedded in all that, uh, around the globe in a, in a variety of different mission packages. And uh, to answer the specifics to your question, you know, SIR-4 and uh, RES-4, those teams are working hard, looking at opportunities for the reserve community to maybe uh, fill some of those positions at sea uh, critical ratings, critical pay grades where they need leadership there. So that team, those teams are working hard in that regard. And, uh, you know, also doing the same thing as we face other challenges right now within the continental U.S. and the catastrophe in Houston and where they're at with the, uh, the joint base there, the joint reserve base there at Fort Worth. So reserve force is, you know, very much embedded in everything that we do. Yeah. Now, in fact, when we do all hands calls, and you know, sometimes there's a crowd of thousands, sometimes just a couple hundred. We always ask the question, "Hey, if you're a Navy reservist, raise your hand." And uh, you know, we get, we always get a fair amount of hands that go up in the uh, in the team, and uh, that's the only way you can tell us apart, right? I mean, we are, we truly are one team. We're working shoulder to shoulder. And, uh, and the reserves are also super responsive, so that just like with Hurricane Harvey, you know, they're up and out of moving towards the sound of that uh, gunfire down there, the, the, the problem, so that we can uh, do everything we can to, to help the folks down in Texas.